Marty Smith reported all weekend from Talladega. He joins us now here live on SportsCenter. Marty, what insight can you add to the announcement today from the FBI and the words we just heard there from Steve Phelps? Good evening, Michael. Good evening, Sage. Uh, first of all, I, it needs to be echoed what Steve Phelps just said, that best possible case scenario is that Bubba was not the subject of a hate crime and that this noose had been there previously in previous races, and there's evidence of that. Um, I talked to NASCAR after Steve Phelps addressed the media just to get some more clarification on that pull-down rope, how it was configured, how long it had been there, and they are still going to study that. NASCAR's investigation is going to continue on to try to determine the origins of that noose. Now, where it's positioned in the garage area is the far right side of the garage area. And they continually said it was a noose. Let's not get, let's not, let's not, uh, let's not lose the fact that it was a noose just because the FBI determined that it was not a hate crime. NASCAR was very adamant with me in making sure that it was a noose. And what happened on Sunday, you heard Steve Phelps say Saturday, he later corrected himself, he meant Sunday. The number 43 team, had to go through inspection more times than once. And that team, when it came back to the garage to make an adjustment so that it could go back through inspection again for pre-race on Sunday before the rainout, that's when it was first noticed. The crew member who noticed it then went to a NASCAR official and then it went up the line from there. And the next thing you know, that evening, NASCAR's statement said, we found a noose in the garage we will not tolerate this, we do not condone this, and we'll find who it was. And so that's where we are. The FBI, those agents have determined that it was not a hate crime. And again, that, that's the absolute best possible case scenario for NASCAR because it eliminates that, that, that thought process that the sport had not made the progress that I've been discussing now for weeks. Marty, let me ask this, because clearly over the last 48, 72 hours has been a very emotional ride for Bubba Wallace, but we saw a tremendous yep. show of support from his fellow drivers, and even after the race, there in Alabama, there were some fans that showed support for him after that race as well. He, he is a young driver in this sport, and it seems as though he's carrying a lot of weight on his shoulders right now in various ways. I he wonder is. from the people you talk to, what they think about how Bubba is handling this and how it is impacting him, not just personally, but also his ability to go out there and try to win these races because, oh, yeah, he did lead a little bit of that race on Monday. It was awesome to see. Uh, he had a good race car, and he used it very well. Um, he is carrying a lot, Michael, and because of his vulnerability and because of his willingness to stand up against racism, and to stand up and ask NASCAR, plead with NASCAR to ban the Confederate flag from its grounds and its culture and its future, that has made so many people who never cared for NASCAR, never paid any attention to NASCAR, gravitate to NASCAR. That's all Bubba. And what we saw, look, despite the fact that this investigation was, the result of it was that it was not a hate crime. That is amazing, that is the best news. It does not take away from the fact that because there was some suspicion there and that investigation was launched, the immediate and universal support of Bubba from his peer group, from the other 39 drivers, what we saw during pre-race on Monday was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen, certainly in sport and in my career, but also in my life. I will carry what I saw on Monday with me as a beautiful example of unity, as a beautiful example of togetherness and being undeterred and undaunted and courageous. And so uh, that, can, that, that should not in any way be diluted by the findings that, that the FBI announced and NASCAR announced this evening. That was an amazing display. And what it did, Michael, to your point and to your question is it showed the weight that Bubba Wallace has carried, seeing his emotion, broken down in tears before the Geico 500, and to see him say after the race, I don't know who you are, 
and now we know it was it was um, it had been there since October, but at the time he did not know that. And I loved his statement. I don't have my mask on. I know I should, but you're going to see me smile. And I just feel like he has been so courageous, and his peers have been very courageous in supporting him. And uh, that should not be lost here. He finished 14th Monday there at Talladega, and now the Cup Series moves on to Pocono. They're going to have Cup Series races on back-to-back -back days, Saturday and Sunday. That does not happen in NASCAR, but it's going to happen this weekend in Pocono. We'll see how Bubba Wallace performs. Marty Smith here on SportsCenter. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.